Us. Okay, guys, we're going to start with something Scott Sensei was uh, showing us uh, the other day. Everybody just make Jukamai, left leg in front to start. Okay, from here, you're in a, obviously your stance is slightly smaller than normal Zen Kutsu Dutch. Your weight is on your toes, your heels are off the floor, and both knees are quite bent. So you're springy and ready to, ready to spring, ready to pounce, ready to drive. From here, you're going to keep your hips where they are, keep your waist level, and just extend your feet and then contract them again. So you're going to stretch, contract. Okay, so one, one movement, out and in. Each. Knee, out, in. San, out, in. Shi. Go. Rook. Sich. Hach. Ku. Zhu. Okay, so try not to jump. Try not to be up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, try and keep your belt where it is and just move your feet out and in. Just a moment, guys. Can I see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I see myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, ready? Other leg in front. Okay, so just out and in, not moving the hips. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sich. Hach. Ku. Ju. Okay, good. So Jukamai, guys, is a very, uh, it should be a compressed position. It shouldn't be relaxed at all. You should be very, very engaged, especially with your core and your inner thighs. Okay, if it's loose, you don't have structure, and you, you, can't, you can't do anything from, from where you don't have structure, from when you're not engaged. You can move forward to attack, but it's, you're going to be moving forward with a unit which isn't connected. It's very disconnected. So focus on your inner thigh muscle squeeze, all right? Left leg in front again. This time, you're going to do that same move we did with the feet, and straight away, you're going to shoot forward Gyakazuki. So there's three sounds. There is one, two, three. Listen to the feet. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, let's try. Ready? Each. Knee. Sound. Keep your hands up, Matthew. She. Go. Roll. Okay, change legs. Right leg in front. Okay. Each. Knee. San. She. Go. Rook. Hey, Yame. Okay, guys, so the reason we're doing this is because uh, as soon as we've done this motion, our inner thigh muscles are engaged. They have to be because we've just pulled our feet in from here. Okay, and it's all about these muscles in here, so you're primed, you're connected in your core and your inner thigh muscles. From there, you can push forward and you can punch using your whole body. All right, so if you think if your legs are straight, if your heels are down on the floor, your stance is dead, what can you, well, first of all, you can't push, right, because this leg is straight. Let's say we bend the leg, we're gonna push, we're gonna be disconnected, maybe leaning to the side, not pushing our whole body weight forward as a unit. Okay, right leg in front. Okay, same again. So there's three sounds. One, two, three. Ready? Each. Speed and power now. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sich. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Yame. Okay. So guys, uh, when we were practicing just this, just this foot movement. Um, I was saying that you need to keep your hips in the same spot, right? Not jumping up and down. So, mainly because if you do it quick like this, you get that good inner thigh muscle engagement. But also, move, moving up and down is a waste of energy. If you're pushing up, you're not pushing forwards, right? So treat this as an exercise in directing your body weight, your energy, whatever you want to, however you want to think of it, in the only place that it needs to go. Forwards, okay? So stay low, stay level, and drive only forwards, okay? All right, so this time, same thing, but gyakazuki, gyakazuki. So we're going to do our little shuffle. One, two, we're gonna drive forward gyakazuki, step, and do another gyakazuki, and then reset back, okay? So we'll be a different leg in front each time. Start with the left leg in front, okay, slowly first. Each, one, two, gyakazuki, gyakazuki, and move back. Knee, one, two, gyakazuki, gyakazuki, and back. Okay, smoothly now, one count. Sound. 
she go rook C and hodge okay yame so guys when you do gyakazuki gyakazuki uh, a lot of people will end up punching nice and low good position good posture and then coming up and falling down so going up and down is a waste of energy you know um if you think of the way a cheetah runs i'm going to do an analogy now because all the great karate teachers do analogies if you think of the way a cheetah runs it eats up the road in front of it and pushes it out behind and its body stays flat moving sideways right the paws go out in front scoops the land in, the road, whatever you want to think of it, and pushes it out behind. Never going up and down, okay? It's more efficient than that. That's why they say in Cork, when you're going really fast, you're eating road. And that comes from the famous wild cheetahs in, in West Cork, <laughs> roaming the hills. So, so again, uh, we're doing our little shuffle. One, two, driving forward, staying low, okay? Getting our inner thigh muscle and our core primed with this movement, and then straight away, Shooting forwards without coming up and down. Okay, ready? H. And reset, reset back. Knee. Sam. She. And I'll give you a little more time to reset. Okay, go. Think of the cheetah, guys. Stay low. Bend your knees. Be in a compressed position before you shoot. Rook. Good. Siege. Nice, Phil Hickson. Hodge. Coup. And Zhu. Hey, yummy. Okay, good. So, guys, we're being explosive, but we also have to try to be smooth. You don't want to be clunky. I'm talking about, you know, bracing your core and being engaged and uh, moving as a unit. But it's, it's, it's no good if you're also really tense and being a bit clunky. So try and be engaged but smooth. Hang on, I've gone blurry again. Just be a Okay, never mind. Okay, so uh, next thing, guys, we're going to do... We're gonna do a bit of MP. So, yeah. MP, obviously, uh, the way Funakoshi wrote it down, it translates as the flight of the swallow. And people talk about how the kata moves up and down a lot. Hey, if I stay here, am I in focus? However, uh, the way we do it here in the dojo is to use this kata as a challenge to actually stay level. It's easy to move up and down, but as we've just kind of seen from doing these freestyle combos, moving up and down it means you're not moving forward, okay? So we want to be more like a unit, only moving in one direction. Uh, the only direction we have to move in in order to deliver a powerful strike, okay? Also, we're going to be thinking about our inner thigh muscles a lot. MP is a kata which really uh, shows, or it's, it's a kata that you can really practice inner thigh muscle engagement with. It's full of examples and opportunities to practice that. Okay, so piece by piece, start from the beginning, all right? So feet together, ready to begin. Uh, if you don't know MP, guys, just try and follow along. We're going to move through it bit by bit to begin with. Okay, each, me, san, she. Okay, just that much. So guys, this very first move, obviously we have to change level here, yes? Yeah? So this is one of the two parts in this kata where you change level. Uh, first of all, you drop down, but you need structure here. You need really, really, really tight inner thigh muscle engagement. If you don't, your knee is gonna fall down on the floor, okay? Also, generally moving up and down in karate, landing hard on your heels, it will, your knees won't thank you for that one day, okay? So don't hit your knee into the floor. Keep it about an inch or two inches off the floor and use your inner thigh muscles to hit that position and hold it, okay? Ready? Each. And back to the stars. Okay, we're just gonna practice this a little bit. Knee. Keep your back straight. Feel those inner thigh muscles pulling together. And again. Sam. And again. She. Okay, yame. So ju just one quick note as well there, guys. J just on MP. Um, a lot of people I see really turning their hips away from their hand. 
Um, it comes up again later in the kata. When you're turning your hips away from this motion, you're quite disconnected. There's, say if I'm trying to push something that way, with this fist, if I'm doing it with my hips pointing this way, it's, it's really not very powerful at all, right? So you can, show in, you can show your understanding of connection in the very first move of this kata by keeping your hips here rather than here. Okay? Okay. From the start again, we're going to move on to the second move now, all right? Ready, each. Next, up, and knee. All right, this move is also all about inner thigh muscle connection. You can't spring up and stop dead with your form good without really tight connection here also in your core, okay? So just the first two moves. Ready? One count, first two moves. Here we go. Each. Ready? Knee. Nice. San. And she. Okay, yame. Okay, we're gonna go from there to the next two moves. All right, so we're here, double hikite, feet shoulder width apart. All right, so the first thing we need to do is prime our hips for this get on barai. You don't wanna prepare with one hand and just kind of fall into it. You need to compress, squeeze those inner thighs, compress your chest as well, and from there, expand into a proper get on barai, okay? So it's not just plonking yourself down, you have to squeeze down and expand forward, okay? Next move, well, just to explain, we're gonna practice the two moves together. It's another case of inner thigh muscle uh, engagement. You are, well, you can, you can step back. Uh, there's an argument to be made, I suppose, for just moving this back leg back, um, but it doesn't really make sense to move away from your punch. You're moving your hip away and punching that way. So instead, what we do here is we just kind of scooch forward with each foot and we land in keep a touch like that, inner thigh muscle tension. Okay, so from here, get on the right and then kagazuki. One count. Each, squeeze, expand, and engage. And back to here. Knee. One count, two moves, yeah? And back to double hikite. San. Drop a little bit. As you prepare for that get on barai, bend your knees. You should be dropping, driving. Okay, she. Okay, moving on, guys. From here, Kagazuki. Okay, this next bit, it's another get on barai. It's the same situation. You have to compress, you have to pull this leg across before you drive forward. Okay, each. Okay, get on barai is easy. You don't need to spend too much time on that. Okay, Agazuki, knee. All right, next bit, guys. We're gonna drive this back leg forwards, land in Kagazuki, doing a punch and a cover. Ready? San, drive, squeeze. Okay, turn, backwards, get on the right. Make sure you've got your hip not turned away from your block, okay? Your hip has gotta be here to provide reinforcement of that structure. And then turn, get on the right. Okay, yame. So guys, we're gonna try an exercise to bring, to really focus on the inner thigh muscle squeeze needed for this, uh, this big knee movement, right? So from here, which way do I do this? Here, okay, a lot of people thinking of the flight and the swallow, they're gonna come up and drop down, okay? You can say goodbye to your knees if you're gonna practice that way. Instead, think of what we were practicing before, staying level and only driving forward, okay? This kata is no longer the, the flight of the swallow. Today, it's the, uh, the sprint of the cheetah, all right? So, eat up the road and spit it out behind you. Stay level as you drive forward, and then bring up the back knee, the back leg behind you, okay? So, so to practice that back leg squeeze bit, everyone put your right leg in front. Okay, the right leg's in front. Lift this right leg off the floor, inch. Knee. Some. She. Okay, next, just watch, you're gonna lift that right leg Try to pull up the back leg to land in Kosa Dutch as quickly as possible. So it should look like this. Okay, each. Yeah, and then return to right leg in front, front stance. Knee, lift, and then squeeze into Kosa Dutch. Yeah, and again, San. Yeah, try not, so you don't need to leap forward. I see, so I see uh, David Ormond up jumping, okay? Uh, not, not for now, just fo don't focus on driving, 
focus on squeezing. Okay? Each. Yeah. Knee. And sand. Okay, good. So, let's go back. We're, we've got our left leg in front. We're doing Aigizuki. Okay, so we're flying straight forward, not coming up and down. We're using inner thigh muscle connection to land in a really neat course of which is good timing. Okay, ready? Each. And back. Aigizuki. Knee. And back. Try and stay level, guys. Just drive forward, not up and down. San. Yeah, good. Also, really squeeze that knee up, right? There's, there's a compression in the core happening here as well. If you don't have that, your knee's going to be... You're thinking of driving forward, and your knee is just kind of there, like you're taking a big step. Instead, you've got to really squeeze that knee up as much as you can whilst driving forward. Okay, go! And last one, roll! Okay, good. Well, yeah, good. Uh, Rosina Sigala, very nice. Okay, next. The, the next move, right? So we're here, we've got a turn. Uh, get on Barai. So if I borrow Ross's hip roll. <laughs> okay, so if I turn my hips away, and uh, I'm just going to try and push against Ross Sensei's hands, alright? So I'm very strong, so already he's feeling a lot of pressure. <laughs> but if I get my hip engaged properly, I can add even more pressure there, right? So he will confirm that there was more pressure the second time. Okay, so you can try it with your, uh, with your children, with your partners, whatever. Whoever you want to hit. Whoever you have available to hit. Everybody needs someone. We have each other. Okay, so you need your hip in the correct position there, guys. You need your hip in this position, not turned away, okay? So let's just practice that. Everybody to Kosadach. Okay, each. Okay, and straight away we're going to use our inner thigh muscles to prepare, making showmen to prepare for get on barai, and then scooching a little bit with the front leg for get on barai. Knee. Okay, and back to Kosadach. Okay, one count, both get on barai. Each. One, two. And back to Kosadach. Knee. Nice. And back again. San. Okay, so guys, so it's good. I can see people making really good position here for this backwards get on barai. But before you do the front ways get on barai, you need to have inner thigh muscle compression as well as chest compression. I see people compressing the chest and not really moving the hips. Okay? So instead, make sure you are turning that hip in. So I'm doing get on barai here, I'm turning that hip. All right, to get the proper rotation. Okay, a couple more, ready? From Kosadach, from here. Okay, H. Get on barai, get on barai, nice. Knee. By the way guys, if you have any questions, you can unmute and shout now. Okay, a couple more. San. Nice, Annie. And last one, Shi. Yeah, good, Sofia Ramos, good, good. Okay, yeah, so just feel free to unmute at any time and shout if you want to ask a question. Okay, last couple of points on MP. After we've done that sequence a few times, we're here with our left leg in front doing get on barai. Okay, so this next bit, people thinking of the flight of the swallow, they're gonna go down, up, down, all right? When this leg is straight, guys, you're completely out of control. You've no way of, say if, say if you think of a kumite scenario, you never want to be standing up high on one leg. I know this is kata, not kumite, but we have to think of karate principles, okay? So rather think of the cheetah. The cheetah scoops up the road and then spits it out, okay? So stay low, stay compressed. Also, uh, think, of, um, think of the way you spit. I hope some of you aren't queasy, but... When you, uh, when you spit, you don't gather saliva in your mouth and then blow it out. Okay, if you try and blow saliva out of your mouth, you're gonna get, it's going to be quite messy. Instead, you use your tongue, you stick it in between your lips and you create pressure. And that's what, how you get... Okay, not just... Alright, so there, you have to build up the pressure first. And then spit. Alright? Alright, all the great karate teachers use analogies. Okay, ready? So create the pressure, 
and then open and expand. Okay, again. Okay, squeeze in, inner thigh muscles, chest, and then open and expand. Okay, next bit, obviously inner thigh muscle of uh, <coughs> huge importance here, you're just squeezing everything. You're going from super expanded to super compressed for that kia. Okay, so let's just try from here. We're going squeeze, open, and squeeze, open. Okay, ready? From get on right. Each open, down, kia, knee, ta, open again. Close, open, close, open. Okay, again. Ready? Close, open, close, open. Okay. A couple more times, guys. I'm going to have a look. From left leg in front, get on bry. One count, those one, two, three moves. Okay. E. Squeeze open. Squeeze open. Nice. Stay low, guys. Keep those legs bent. Again, from get on bry. Knee. Nice. And squeeze open. Good. And one more. San. Squeeze open. Squeeze open. Okay, good. Okay, moving on. From there we have double crunch. Get on barai. We've covered get on barai already. Agizuki. Okay, these shutos. Okay, guys, so just step forward. Right leg in front. Shuto, okay? All right. Um, you're going to turn on the heel of your back foot. You're going to squeeze, pivot on the heel of that back foot and bring everything together. Toes touching, elbows touching. And left leg, shoot up. Okay, same again. Bring it back and shoot up. Bring it back and shoot up. You should be inching forward. Watch. I'm on the heel coming back. I'm on the toes going forward. Heel going back, toes going forward. Inching forward the length of your foot each time. Okay, let's try a few. Start with the right leg in front. Okay, squeeze, block. Stay low, squeeze, block. Create the tension and spin. Squeeze, block. Okay, one count each. Knee. Nice. San, Ivan Mazzolini, very nice. She. Go. Rook. Nice, Carl. Siege. And ha. Yeah, really good. Everyone's got that. Well done. Okay. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. where are we? Here. Right leg shuto, bam. Left leg shuto, gyakazuki, shuto turn. Next bit we've done. We've done the knee drive, bam, bam. So we're here. Left leg, get on the right. Okay, so we're about to go into these, this sequence of slow moves, yeah? So start this move fast, prime the shoulder, and each upward tatio strike. Okay, this next bit is all about inner thighs. You are pulling this back leg in, pulling this back leg in, and then slowly driving out from there. Knee. Okay, back to here, left leg in front. Just do this first strike. So, so again, don't come up and down. You, you, you're not capable of doing anything but falling when you're up, okay? So you've got to be compressed. Think of this half step, and where is it? Think of this half step as when your sensei calls you and you need to get there fast. You don't go, okay, sensei, here I come, with straight legs. Your sensei calls you and you need to go fast, you drop down and run, okay? You compress, you drop, you compress, and you sprint, okay? So from here, we are compressing and driving. Okay, from here, uh, left leg in front. And each. Okay, stepping forward again, knee. Okay, back to the start. Back to uh, left leg in front, right hand. Take shot. Okay, just gonna have a look. Just this move, ready? Each. Uh, the next move, Carl, yeah. Okay, back again, back again. So from here, we're doing this move, okay? Knee. Fast compression, slow expansion. And again. San. Okay, so a couple of things I'm seeing. Uh, obviously, there's tons of people here from different organizations. 
different instructors uh, and everybody has been taught this kata a slightly different way. So to practice the principles that I'm trying to get across in this class, try and instead, so for example I saw one person stepping forward with that left leg, as if it's a double, so if I'm doing it straight towards the camera, it was one step, two step. Instead of doing that, just compress. So you can use this leg, say if you were going fast to drive yourself forward, if this was a fast move it would be compress drive, okay? So think of that, think what can you do? You wouldn't double step, yeah it's not as fast. You know, just one way of kind of justifying the way I'm trying to teach it. There's a hundred different ways to skin a cat, a hundred different ways to do MP. Some people like to go up and down for example, that's not what we're practicing today, okay? So from here, compress and drive, nice and slow. Okay, a couple more times, ready? Eee. And last one. Me. Ay, yummy. Okay. Okay, guys, last point. Everybody's favorite bit the big jump. Um, yeah, so if you think of uh, the way, I don't know, if you do a spin, right, you don't want to have your limbs flying all around the place. You'll lose control. Uh, there's a lot more, uh, there are a lot more, um, what do you call it when you don't know what it is? Uh, variables. Anything could happen. You could be knocked off balance, okay? So you have to try and keep tight when you're in the air or when you're spinning or when you're spinning in the air, such as the case here. So you need massive compression whilst you're up in the air. You need to be ready for shuto and your feet need to be tucked up underneath you like this. Okay, so this is the, uh, the picture you need to be able to take whilst in the middle of this jump. Okay, so we're just going to try that. Um, if you're not okay to do this jump, guys, just do a, a moderated version of it. I'm not asking anybody to go hurt themselves or do something beyond their capability, all right? But if you want to do it, then let's do it. Okay, so right leg is in front, food that you've just grabbed. Okay, so ready, each. And again, you want to watch. Knee. And again. So think of that squeeze, guys. Think of lifting your feet up underneath your bum. San. Yeah, good. Jean-Philippe, very good. And again. She. Good. Okay, so, so yeah, so people like to jump high. I, was, I have to finish in a couple of seconds, guys. People like to jump high, so they like to do things to help them jump high, such as taking an extra step here, such as using their hands and doing a great big jump like that. Be a little more strict with yourself. Um, try to be less flamboyant and more particular about exactly what you're doing. Be minimalistic with your movements, right? So where do my hands have to go? Just here. Do, should I make a step with this leg? Well, no, there's no step. Yeah, if you look at the kata written down, you go from here to a jump, and that's it. Okay? Okay, guys, I have to finish. Does anyone have any questions before I say goodbye? First, Bruce, I have one question. Yes? Uh, it's Alexander. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, I was the landing of the jump. Could you uh, say it's a one, two foot, or is it both feet at the same time landing? Both feet at the same time. Make your uh, is one, two. This one is not. Bus. Anything else, guys? Is there an Irish word for spit? Spittoch. Spittoch. <laughs> I don't believe you. That's <laughs> ah, true. Ask Christian on way along. Christian. Available. Uh, I wonder if he's still here. Sassy, when, when, you, when you initiate the jump, is that, is that again, do you, do you lift one leg off? Or do you try to get both feet off together? Yeah. One leg first and then the other follows? No, no. But uh, Yeah, one leg first and then the other follows, yeah. But try and land together. So yeah, you do you do use this uh, knee to launch yourself up, same as in uh, yeah, same as in most kata jumps, most kata jumps which are actual jumps, not the kata jumps which are not actual jumps. Anything else, guys? Yes, sensei. Us. Um, the the first tai chi after the kata Marai, do you initiate that with your uh, hip? Uh, well, certainly your hip is moving. I wouldn't say you initiate, with your, initiate it with your hip. So think of, the way we practice it here, uh, think of an uppercut. Okay, you prime your shoulder. You bring it, say if I'm fighting somebody here in front of me, I lead with my shoulder just a little bit. I prime this hand back just a little bit. Obviously you don't have to, 
yeah, you'd say that's telegraphing, but one way of getting a strong punch is to prime it a little bit before striking. So think of the first taste show that way. Think of releasing the shoulder just a little bit and then going with the hip. Yep, yep. Thanks. Okay. Okay, I have to go, guys. AJ Sensei is up next. Get together.